Hello and uh, welcome to Flash Chapter 2, Lesson 2. And the idea behind this particular lesson, I've already set it up, um, is to actually take a look at ways to separate the stroke and fill of particular drawn objects. Now, we've, dr we've drawn these objects in a previous lesson. I have them up. Now, my sample might be a little bit different, but I wanted to look at it because your sample should probably look similar to the tools one with lots of different layers and things along those lines, similar to this. But, and I have that solution available if you happen to lose track of that as we go through. But the idea as I look at this is each particular object both has a fill object and a stroke. The stroke being the outside, the fill being the inside. So for instance, if I want to separate the two, what I can do is I can push my shift button. I can click on this and actually drag it. And what that does is that separates the stroke, which is the side outside, from the actual fill. And um, I'm working with Flash 2-20 step, I was uh, number 6 or 7. And it allows me to actually uh, play with the individual objects. Now you'll also note I can do things like this. If I come in and I want to draw a marquee around this, I can actually, let's see, click a blank area of stage to deselect the objects. Um, I can actually select um, a particular part of the object by, if I right click and I just click right there, that allows me to select that particular item so I can change, I can change different parts of it. So now I don't have to just change, so I'm just left clicking right here. I don't have to change the entire stroke, I can change the individual stroke. So I can turn this, let's say, uh, yellow I believe. So now I've actually changed that yellow which you can't actually see. And Let's change it to a color that you can see a little bit better. There we go. And now I can modify one particular part of it as opposed to all of it. And that basically gives me the idea of what's going on in um, Flash 2-20. Now what I can also do is I can paint different parts of the object as well and this is on page 2-21 so if I, for instance I come in and I hit my um, my paint tool whoops and I I hit my paint tool and I hit the ink bottle tool what I can then do is let's say I have my green I can take my mouse pointer to the stroke section and I can just click on it you'll notice at the very bottom you have a small white that appears now I've actually changed it to green I can click on this one now it doesn't do the same effect because I'm working with a different color so now what they want me to do is click layer 4 which I don't have a layer 4 so I'm just gonna click right here and what I can do is I've inserted a keyframe here and I've started with two circles and what I can actually do from here if I want to is I can change my paint bucket tool and Notice I have it set to black, and I can actually click inside it so it sets black. If I change this to white, I can change my paint bucket tool to the ink bottle tool, which will allow me to actually change the stroke, and now I can change a stroke to a different color. And I can do that with either one of them. So it allows me to modify different elements to it and play with it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the fill color swatch and I'm on 2-22 and I'm going to click this gradient tool. Now that will allow me to come right along and I'm going to click my paint bucket tool and I'm going to click on the gradient. Now you'll notice that depending upon where I click it actually changes the gradient based off where the information is. Now what I'm going to do then is I'm going to click right here and I'm going to click on the free transform tool and I'm going to click on this element right here. You'll notice, hmm, and again, a free transform and gradient transform. You'll notice, now what I did was, is I, I had clicked the wrong one. I want to click on this and I want to choose my gradient transform tool. And that's what's going on on uh, flash page 222. And if you look at figure 28 on your page there, you'll notice you have it selected similar to this. Now what I can do is, is if I let's say I change this, you'll actually see the gradient narrow. 
if I move it out, you'll see the gradient widen. If I change the size like this, you'll see it where it's modified. If I change this, I can flip so my, um, my highlighted area is now modified. So I can actually come along and modify my gradient, make changes as appropriate if I want. Now when it's all said and done, I can actually click on this. And if let's say, for instance, you happen to know the exact color. So if I look at fill color swatch, click the fill color swatch number nine, it says hashtag 006637. And then I push enter. And now it's going to change it to green, right? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm working with an object drawing model mode, and that's at flash 2-23 top of the page. It wants me to insert a new um, stroke, right? Excuse me, a new um, keyframe. That's fine. Um, then it wants me to create an oval, which I've created an oval already, and I want to change it to a black swatch. So I'm going to change this to black. And I want to basically create a black circle, right? And I'm going to then, this is my black circle. So I've created my black circle. Now, it says click the circle once and drag the circle around the stage. So I want to make sure that I can drag my circle. So here's my circle. I can drag the circle around the stage. When I grab it by an object, the entire object is selected. I can then click modify and um, I do not have a break apart option which is very interesting I'm supposed to let me try this one so let's see click circle once and drag circle around stage I already selected click modify okay so now I should be able to um, click it modify my doesn't allow me to break apart again let's try to select it in a different way now you'll notice I have my main and my section, and I should be able to modify break apart, but it's not allowing me to do that. What I could also do if I wanted to, I wonder, there we go. I wonder if I could also do my shift, grab, and break apart that way. Now the outline was white, so you can't really see it, but if I came along here, I'm going to change it to similar to our ink bottle tool and I'm going to come along and I'm not going to be able to see it okay this was a bad example but I'm going to do there now I've changed it to green so I can see it more I'm going to grab this one select it hit my shift key and then drag it and that allow me to actually break it apart so it'll move in two different ways uh, for some reason my modify break apart didn't work but this is accomplishing the same basic task all right so at this point in time, that has finished Lesson 2 in reference to Chapter 2, Lesson 2. So when we did this, we went over, um, if we look at our time frame number 1, we, looked o we modified the internal parts, we modified the actual fill color, we modified the stroke color, we also uh, separated the stroke and the fill. And you notice, once again, it changes with the... Um, mouse pointer values so that's I'm messing with the stroke this I'm actually messing with the fill and we actually came along and we we played with a gradient some so we messed with the gradient and then we allowed us to kind of modify how the gradient was set uh, I could do that initially by actually using the paint tool for the gradient to make that modification or I can use this tool right here with the gradient transform tool and modify it from there. So either one of these options are there. There's lots of different items that what we're doing is we're building up those tools so later on we can make more modifications. All right, the next bit will be lesson three. Please look forward to that. This concludes uh, animation flash chapter two, lesson two, um, pages 220, 221, 222, 223. Thank you very much for your time.